Hello and welcome back to another Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hang Nades. I'm C Cypher and today I wish you a very Merry Meatmas 2021. Which has a whole new not so Christmassy scene but you know. And some Christmas presents over in the... where are you? Meatmas Snow Globe. First off, we're going to experience the new scene, the Grill House. Definitely a pun on the Kill House. Which adds the two new features that we've been, that Anton's been working on. Glass and, where is it? Doors. So, let's get some firearms. Let's have a little wonder. And let's have some glorious fun. So if we're going to take on some doors, I need a shotgun. Uh, who's a nice mag-fed shotgun? Oh, good old jackhammer. Okay, and some sort of rifle. Uh, no, I don't want to be in that mode. I want to go back to classic mode. Rifle, rifle, rifle. So let's go over. We're going to be inside, so we probably want a PDW, actually. That's a nice PD. I like... I, I'm always drawn... Actually, no, we'll go with a carbine. A bit bigger than a PDW, but still nice and stubby. We've got a lot of carbines. I forgot how many carbines we had. Probably some sort of bullpup. Org of FAMAS. Org of FAMAS. I prefer the org. Spawn, spawn object, and we don't want that, but we do want that. I'm just having some silly fun, since it is Meatmas. Here we go. Oh, I might need a sight, but I don't want that. Um, attachments. Tech mode. Tech f oh, that doesn't really work, does it? Clear all text. Let's go to classic mode. I want a reflex sight. What's a nice little reflex sight to play with? That's a nice compact red dot. Got some nice CQB. Wonderbar. So, uh, I'm going to grab you as well. We can spawn some... Oh, I can't spawn lock you. Spawn some statics and we'll have a little wander around. So we've got glass, of course. We've already seen all this. And we'll be able to fire out of windows and smash glass at the same time. Which will be fun. Uh, we'll give everyone a good little nosy around. Shoot out all the glass. Oi. Wonderbar. We've got doors. Doors everywhere. Which will be fun. The Sausage AI apparently can't... Well, not apparently. Cannot uh, path through doors current... Well, sees... I don't know if Anton changed it. In the dev vlog he hadn't, but he said he might be. The... Sussex cannot path, will attempt to path through closed doors. Well, let's see whether he's changed that, because he might have, oh, there's a downstairs. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this gives very Kill House vibes, this room. We have another way out. Excellent, because every basement needs two ways in and out. Okay, that's the here. Very nice. There's an upstairs. I'm just absolutely wandering this place. Uh, doors. Do you know what? I feel like opening them quickly. Oh. Thank you! Nice little balcony. Very nice. Window! Ooh, quite a few rooms. But this is going to be fun when we get CQB. Stuff added when Anton adds it all. Nice little window. Get in there. Wee, we get to clear the windows. Okay. It's a nice little room. Nice little room. I Might help if I don't hit the lock itself. Also might help if I actually open the door. Pass the gun. <laughs> okay. I think we'll spawn some sausages in some other areas. In a second once we've had a little wander around. So some of these buildings are accessible. Some of them are facades. Little fakes. 
that's no accessible, like this one. This one's not accessible. You can jump on the roof, but you can't get into it, and it's just to flesh out, according to Anton. And this map gives me so much of a Gmod vibe. <laughs> like, the way it's built, it feels very gmod -y, like a Gmod map. And that's not a negative. I love Gmod maps. It just does. That is an interesting building, to say the least. Uh, did Anton actually add the keys? Because in his devlog, he didn't hand out the keys to the map. Did they spawn here now? Oh, we still got no keys. Looks like we still got no keys. Wonderful. Oh, might as well respawn everything. Make it nice and sturdy. So it looks like we've got a um, waterway, storm waterway to take away storm water, probably. Does appear like that, kind of like in um, oh what is it? LA has that the big concrete stormway. We've got tunnels that are blocked, of course. Oh, way down into here. Hmm. Very nice. Okay. I think we'll spawn a few sausages for a little fight now. Uh, give you that properly. Uh, properly. So, spawn sausage. Uh, we're going to have them activated now. And I feel like... Some good old pacification squad. Which will be fun. Everyone loves a good pacifier. Hmm. Let's see. Where, where should... I feel like assaulting the main building is too predictable, but why not? Let's have the sausages in the main building. So we'll have... We'll set them to guard. We'll have some commando. Oh, lag spike. Thank you for spawning the commando. These guys are tough. I'm going to have fun pu punching the these guys' armor. Oh, yeah. Up there. Uh, one in there. One in there. I'm just going to make this hell on earth. We'll have some outside. Uh, I'm going to approach from the upper because I don't feel like suffering. Um, from over there, not from down on that side. Joe being very interesting, I'd really like to be added. Destructible cover, like temporary, like entrenchment style for the Sausigs. Where they could build up like barricades that you could shoot the bits. They're all improv and temporary. I don't need more Sausigs up there. I do want to. Do you know what might be a good idea? If I go get myself the grappling hook. Well, not the grappling hook, the grapple gun. Because the hook's fun. It's going to be fun using all the grappling tools. Uh, does it come under firearms? Or is it you... It's not an exotic weapon. No, it is locomotion. Uh, give me my charge. Huh. Oh, I thought there was more stuff. Uh, also, apparently I'm just spawning commandos. That's probably not a good idea. Uh, CQB. I'm sure I'll love it. And I think there needs to be a sniper up here. Or two. Okay. So, put you... There. Leave you there. And we... Actually, no, I can't leave you there because I need you to activate the Sussex. We will assault from over here. This is going to end well. Um, commands... Activate all. Can't see. Right, grab the four. Keep him suppressed. Make them keep their heads down. Over here. 
Jackhammer. I forgot how horrible it had. It's into good. Oh, don't get. Sussex don't know how to go through doors. So if I. One of these doors is going to have Sussex all around. No? Oh no, I know which door will have Sussex all around it. This one. I'm going to reload before I pop that second one. And the Sussex. Might. Cleaned. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun when Anton adds an actual spawning mechanic and stuff. Also, this makes shotguns so satisfying to use. Also, I love the lighting. Anton has done a good work on the lighting. Have I got all of them? Oops. Must stuff. Ah, I'm gonna have some fun exploring this this place. Seeing all the little hidey holes and everything, it's gonna be fun. Oh, that opens this way. Come on, let's let's go through a door by blowing off all the hinges, and then we'll go have a look at the meat miss gifts. Uh, where's the hinges? One. Nope. I think it's higher. I need to learn where the hinges are. Hmm. We'll go in for the other way and find the hinges. Can we go in the other way? Yes. It's just... Oh. Oh, we can see the hinges here. Oh. <laughs> I just walked through the door. How close was I actually to hit him? I can't see now. I think that was a little low. Oh well. Oh well. But yeah. That is this place. There's loads more to explore in here. It's small, but it's dense. It's a dense little area. You don't fall that way. You fall the other way. <laughs> that didn't fall very how I imagined. But hey, let's go have a look at what presents we have. Because it's Meatmus. Um, we have to have presents, you know? How can you have meat mist without presents? And that is in the meat mist snow globe, if I remember correctly. Because where else are you going to put presents than in the snow globe? Crazy people. Who puts presents under a tree? Oh, never mind. I forgot about that at the top. I forgot about that. So... As any good person, on Christmas, you start with the smallest gifts. I have no idea what's in here. <laughs> A meet my sight. Let's just stay away from there. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh. Ooh, that's a sexy revolver. A Hunter 44. Another 44 Magnum. Sexy. Let's just get there. Nice iron sights. No glow on it, but very nice. Double action. Very nice. Let's put on the reflex sight. And let's see what horrible Christmas thing Anton has given us. Oh, it's the... Is it the YOLO sight from ages ago? 
Oh wait, no, the YOLO site was integrated, wasn't it? Was it integrated onto one of the guns? I think it was. So we finally got this as a reflex that we can attach to any gun. It's very weird because every instinct I want to line up like that. But it's actually there. It's lined up with the far right O. Hmm. Very sexy. Nice 44 Magnum. I do love a good old bit of physics. Okay, next smallest one. We'll work our way up to the big boy. Ooh, new pistol. An ST2111? 2111? 2111? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Looks like it's going to be a semi-automatic pistol. Very nice. What she chambered in? Oi. What have we got? 9 by 19 hmm. Nice. Good. Let's see what her accuracy is at range. Does she have a lot of drop? Hmm. Let's try a closer target. I say close to the roll really far currently. I kind of want some traces to see where I'm landing. One second. Give me the spawner. I want to see where I'm going. Also, music. No matter how much I love it, it begins to grind by the end of it. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're back on the old spawner, aren't we? Um, Miss. Uh, where is it? Utility? Ammo spawner. So, I want... Select held type. Do we have tracer? Yes, we do. Hmm. Don't see them. Oh, it didn't. There, it filled. Give me that. We'll bring you with us over here. Let's see what the drop if drop drop off on this is, or is it just me being special? Oh, that kicks high. Okay. Well, that's why I have so much trouble with that, with this sight. Then again, I'm used to using the, the glow sights where you got to line it up at the top. It's a bit weird because you got to line it a bit more close to the bottom, just peeking. Very nice. Nice 9mm pistol. Uh... We'll leave you back in your box. Okay, next biggest one. Ooh, this is going to be the sawn off of the old of the double barrel got. Oh no, Toz sixty feet. Because we have one of these style double barrels where you have to cock the hammers manually. This looks like a stubbier version. Let's see. I missed that. That was terrible. But yeah. It's just a good old, very old school double barrel shotgun. <laughs> I love how the shells jump out. But hey, very nice, very nice. I should, I'm, I'm putting you in the back where you belong. Hmm. We'll right and then back to the left. Ooh. Have we got a new a new um meat fortress gun? Because this looks like the bar. Meat Fortress Firewalker. Cause this looks like the bar. This gives me every vibe of the bar. And oh those are some juicy sights. Oh. Oh, 
what are you chambered in? Not a lot of rounds, but... Oh, that is... Chonky. Just one more, full auto. I need to find out what what on a holy round are you firing? Sorry. Hello? Why can I not eject the case? Okay. Hello game. Why can I not Oh. I can't pull out the shell. Pushing up and it doesn't push out the shell. Like with this. Huh. Odd. Well, we'll never know what unholy round that is, but it's big, it's chunky, and I like it. One more for good old time's sake. I do like a good bit of meat fortress. Okay, what's this long boy we got here? Ooh, another LMG. Realistic one. Looks familiar. M240B. Oh, okay. She's big. She's very big. Okay. Let's see. There. Uh, there. Round there. Okay. This should be single. No, it's full auto. Doesn't have a single fire mode. It has a built-in bipod that is not at all attached to the gun. Huh. Interesting. Has Anton misplaced that? Has he got something? Hmm. Interesting. But, as always, all cover is too low for me. Nice and accurate. Let's try it on the shoulder. She has some kick. That's a nice box mag. Very nice. Is that going to be 7.62 NATO? I'm going to presume. Or is it bigger? Do we have any ideas? No. And I can't eject around because it's that style of magazine. It's not that. It's that. Um, oh, I know how I can check what ammo I've got. I brought this bad boy over here. Where are you? Come here. Your 7.62 NATO? Oh, it supports 7... No, it doesn't. It's just NATO, yes. Why am I saying that? Okay, uh, give me you. I want to see what you were chambered in. 13 by 59. Oh, this has the frag and the slugger. Ooh, ooh, very nice. Anywho, uh, next big boy. Have we got a mortar? With firing instructions. Oh, great golly. I feel like leaving that. No, we can't leave it to us. Use the fire selector. Oh, it's got an elevation thing. To ready the mortar, just slam its base plate into the ground. Oh, oh, it. Oh, and we have fine controls. Okay. And we've got our different elevation readings. Okay. And we've got mortar rounds. Very nice. On the mortar, you can see a range dial with a dot that moves with the mortar indicator. This side is distant in hundreds of meters, so a shell with zero propelling charges attached. Propelling charges? 
has distance with one propelling charge attached. So safe, trigger and drop. How do we see this? Is this some sort of indicator? Oh, is it? Ah, trigger. That must be the trigger mode. So that is Q. Oh, that's D, sorry. Drop. Safe and trigger. So that's where you have to put the trigger. Right, I want to use it like a traditional mortar. Okay, let's move this bad boy. How do I pick her up? You just yank her enough. Okay, you can stay there. I'm so glad we got this. Okay. How far are we? So let's let's get this. The left side has a distance of. Oh, wait. Is that one? Ah, oh, there's the propelling charge. Okay, so I just. Uh, so this is my long distance one. You hit the ceiling. Okay. So, uh, there's 100 meters. That's probably lethal. 200 meters, 300 meters, 400 meters. Or, with the propelling charge, that goes really far. Let's uh, get the spawner. I thought that big bad boy would be the fun thing, but... Uh, well, it could still be. Could still be. But, you know. Whew. So... Uh, can I? No, I have to go pick you up. Let me. 60 millimeter mortar. Now I need the big 120 millimeter mortar. Uh, we'll spawn it. Can't believe I didn't notice there was a difference. Okay, and this is 100 meters from same elevation, so we'll be shooting a little further than expected. Okay, so let's put it out to. 200 meters. Wait, where's our range finder? Uh, no. Utility. Range finder. So we'll get ourselves a little look. So how far is it to... It's 150 meters. So we need a little less than 150 meters. So let's pull her back a little. So that should drop right on it. That should land. That, if I was at all... Oh. Hmm. So for 200 meters, what's 200 meters out? That's too far. With the far side. It's probably not the best scene to have it in, or I might have to get onto the floor because of the roof. Don't think. Nope, that hit the ceiling. Direct fire weapon? Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, let's see how far you go. Oh. Oh, I'm at the edge of my play space. I'm on the floor near the edge of the play space. No wonder the tracking's all messed up. Get in. <laughs> That's the dumbest way to fire a mortar. Okay, uh, let's put you there for now. Let's put on you. Come on, me. I probably just took out my eyes and everything. Severe concussion. Oh, I didn't think I'd be playing with a mortar today. I did not at all. Okay, I think here's a nice clearing. <laughs> nice. Okay, so how far is it to the target? Let's see. Let's land right out in the open, right in the middle. Let's go for. So, uh. <sighs> Nothing above us. Fire in a hole. <laughs> Gonna keep hitting the roof. Okay, let's go for 200 meters. Fire in the hole. 
Don't hit the ceiling. Fine. Three hundred meters, and then we'll try it with the non-drop detonation. No, you hit the ceiling, of course. So the trigger mode. Hmm. Very nice. Probably have to get hold of this in one of the outdoor things. Oh, I want this in, um... Oh, what would be a fun mode to really use that on? The player, it's very hard to utilise a mortar. Whereas a lot of, um, mapping. Thankfully we have the rangefinder. But it's not a quick fire, quick reaction weapon. But hey, let's have a look at our final toy. That's a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, aren't you? The Mark 19. I know what you are. Why have we got a fully automatic grenade launcher? Uh, why? Why have we got a handheld? No, that's the back way. I want it going in. That way. These are truck mounted things. These are things that go on a truck. Uh, no, where's our the? <laughs> where's our bi? Oh, we don't get a bipod, Anton. Do you have to say? Do not. That's enough. Oi. Rounds in this. Why? Why, Anton? Why have you done this? Boom! There was once a hostile target downrange. Does that clip? I want to hold that. Do you clip it? You do clip into it. Oh, Anton. You dastardly thing. Oh, God, take out the old... Nope, that one. One more. Just one more. God awful. Fiving. Let's nail some targets. You're not that accurate. Well, she's accurate, but she's not going to be hitting a flying target. It's a 40mm grenade launcher. Handheld. Who thought this was a good idea, Anton? I'm sure I'd seen people requesting this in the subreddit. Get in. Get in. Thank you. But still. Why? What do you mean the enemies were in a, a trench or fortified position? Uh, these old guns. You're just lacking, mate. When I have a 40mm grenade launcher, there's nothing that can stop me. But anywho, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, hit that like button. Got any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll answer if possible. New channel, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. I do hope you've had a very merry Christmas, And all your celebrations will continue. It's probably <gasps> Boxing Day by now. So you should have had Meatmas. Hope it was all fun. Mine will hopefully be fun. Stay well and Survivor out. Cheerio.